One of the major advantages that wiffle ball has over its sister sport baseball is that we've eliminated the mundane, boring things uh, about baseball in yeah. wiffle ball. For instance, you don't have to see men running around too much in wiffle ball. There's no bases. You don't have to run after you hit the ball. No one wants to watch that crap. People want to see homers, big games, pitching, and strikeouts, and just a, a huge show, and that's what we put on. you got to come balls to the wall, come prepared, and play the game as hard as you can. You know, what people come out to see are the homers, and we provide plenty of those. You show up, and the schedule says you're on a team with, with Dale Cottrell, or you're on a team with Pablo Diablo. And then you find out who you're playing that same day, too. So you can't prepare for a game. You can only prepare your own skills to make you a better ball player. You know, you hit one over the fence, that's a homer. If you yeah. scream a liner off the fence, that's a triple. There's no running. You know, it's just a triple. And that is why wiffle ball is probably the greatest challenge of any sport on the planet, because you can't prepare for your opponents. You only know who's going to be there, but you don't know who you're going against. Uh, if you skip one in front of the fence and it, it hits it on the bounce, that's a double. And of course, you know, if the ball just drops, that's a single. When you're pitching, you know, if you throw faster than everyone else, that's one thing. But we don't allow that. We want to strike people out with movement of the ball. So there's a, a maximum velocity allowed. But we still get more strikeouts than, than uh, you would imagine. It's because we all know what we're doing. 